Hey guys, we're talking about courage here on Tack Room Devotional this week, and I'm Keith Brown. Um, today I want to I want to actually show some examples. So go with me to the book of Joshua, chapter one. It says after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun. Uh, Moses assistant saying Moses my servant is dead now therefore arise go this uh, uh, go over this Jordan you and all this people to the land which I am giving to them the children of Israel every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon I will uh, give to you uh, as I said to Moses from the wilderness and to this Lebanon as far as the great river the river Euphrates all the land of the Hittites and to the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your territory no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life as I was with Moses so I will be with you I will not leave you nor forsake you be strong and of good courage for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them watch this only be strong and very courageous why because you, your your heart needs to be strengthened right he's about ready to enter, go in and take the promised land and remember 40 years prior to this they said oh we can't go in there they're all giants we, we're grasshoppers in their eyes so he's saying no be strong and of good courage why because I'll strengthen your heart that you may observe to do and, and by the way let's let me re-say that be strong and of good courage for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them now watch this he says it again only be strong and very courageous now there's a comma right there but in the original text there are no commas and I personally think this is saying only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the land law in other words he's saying be strong and courageous so that you do the law Look at if you just do the will of God do the law of God. He'll take care of the rest. Amen So it says only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law Which Moses my servant commanded you do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth But you shall meditate on it day and night and you may that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it Now watch this watch this for then you will make your way prosperous and you will make uh, you will have good success so you see how this works be of good courage be strong be of good courage why I'll strengthen your heart but also be of good courage to do what I tell you to do because when you do that then you'll make your way prosperous and you'll have good success okay let's look at Nicodemus I'm gonna try and do this real quick Nicodemus when you look at Nicodemus he's the one that comes to, to Jesus in John chapter 3 he comes to Jesus at night why cuz he's afraid of the ridicule he's gonna get from all of his other pharisaical of uh, uh, Pharisee friends and uh, Sadducee friends that he hangs out with um, he was a uh, he, he from this passage when you read it there in John chapter 3 you see that he must be hungry for the truth because he goes to Jesus to ask him the truth then we see him in John chapter 7 verse 50 through uh, 51 and uh, they're in the council chambers of the religious royalty and he defends Jesus uh, in front of them in spite of the fact that they could turn against him so we see a little bit of courage starting to happen here because why he had heard the truth he had heard the truth from Jesus Christ and now all of a sudden they're trying to come against Jesus and he starts to stick up for him that's pretty amazing then if you go to chapter 19 Jesus goes to Calvary is crucified and we see in verse 38 there that Joseph of, of Arimathea comes and asks uh, um, for the body of Jesus and Nicodemus goes with him and brings the oils and stuff to prepare the body now we see him openly 
um, making a, a statement that he is a follower of Jesus Christ. Where did he get that courage? I can tell you where he got the courage. It came from the cross. He had an encounter with the cross of Jesus Christ. He saw Jesus hanging on the cross, knowing that Jesus had the power to call down 10,000 angels be didn't. Why? Because he had to die so that man could live. Nicodemus saw that, recognized this is the Messiah. This is Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. All right, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.